guys, it's Barb. Thank you for watching. If you're new here and this is the first time you watch me and I look like this, then you're very unlucky. Okay, no, I'm kidding, but I don't look like this on every video, okay? So guys, it's again this freaking time of the month, this freaking week of the month that I hate the most. And I think that all women can relate. Every time I get my period, I'm so, I get the worst cramps ever. I'm so fatigued and moody all the time. The way I look outside is absolutely how I feel inside. <laughs> okay guys, speaking of periods, welcome to today's video because today we're gonna talk about something that I don't see very often on the internet and in general people don't really talk about it. So today's video is going to be how to look good on your period. You know, we see very often on the internet or in general people saying how to look good for this occasion, how to look good uh, when you go to school, when you do this, when you do that, I don't know, whatever, but Nobody really talks about how to look good on your period. And I personally believe that this is the time that we need the most to look good and make ourselves feel more beautiful outside. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one who struggles with what to wear and how to feel better when I'm on my period. So this is what we're gonna do today together. I'm gonna share with you a few ideas about hair, makeup, and a couple of outfits. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go. So guys, I made myself a cup of coffee. It's iced latte with almond milk. People have told me that coffee usually helps a lot with period cramps. So this is another excuse to have a cup of coffee when you're in your period. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to do our hair. As you can see, mine looks so bad. My hair is dirty and greasy and looks terrible <laughs> but to be honest guys i can't be bothered to wash it there's no way <laughs> so i'm gonna take a brush and i will brush it a little bit i have soured i'm not dirty you can smell me <laughs> okay guys so i'm gonna use this dry shampoo is the batiste the original classic fresh this one this is a life saver on greasy hair days so i'm not gonna do too much because the hairstyle that I want to do today is a high ponytail and I think that a uh, honey ponytail looks better with greasy hair. I know it sounds disgusting. Okay guys, so for my ponytail, I'm gonna use a brush like this. It's a flat brush. It helps me a lot with, you know, with my hair here. And of course we need hair tie and I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these two pieces here in the front. like this and then i'm gonna try to take to brush my hair upwards like this you see this brush is really good it takes everything back just make sure that the ponytail is as tight as possible you see when you're under period you don't want to put too much effort so you want something quick I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray. Okay. This is very optional. If you don't want to use hairspray, you can skip this part. You can also play with a ponytail. You can create a braid or something, or maybe a couple of braids. I don't know, whatever you want. But personally, I will just leave it like this because I don't wanna waste more time on my hair. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to do our makeup because right now I look like a dead fish. Okay guys, so let's do our makeup as fast as possible so we don't look like this anymore. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is to put foundation. Uh, this is a new foundation, it's from the Kaya Cosmetics brand, uh, makeup brand. I've created a video with this foundation and a couple more products of this makeup brand. So I will have the link of the video in the description box in case you want to watch it and yeah, check this brand, I don't know. I'm gonna mix my foundation with this with a moisturizing cream and maybe two pumps or three pumps of this foundation and then I will take a brush this is one of my favorite makeup tricks ever mixing the foundation with moisturizer sometimes I mix it with my sunscreen also 
and it feels so good on the skin. So I won't do much with my makeup today because I have quite a clean skin, I would say. So the only thing I want to do is to give more color so don't look like a ghost. Okay, I will use eyebrow gel for my eyebrows. I will just brush them up. And now the best part, bronzer. On the forehead, cheeks, chin chin, jawline, ears. You see in this video you can also learn facial features. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to put blush, of course. Okay, now I will use this lip liner for my lips. I know I said I wouldn't do too much for my makeup, but it's literally a five minute makeup. But it looks a lot because I have to talk on the camera. Okay, and for my lips, just because I want to keep them hydrated, I will use this lip balm, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It literally looks like it wears lip gloss. I wouldn't use mascara, but I think that my eyes need something and I need to make them look more awake. Just the tiniest amount, guys. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with my makeup and with my hair. Okay, right now I feel so good. I feel like I found myself. And now we're gonna find a couple of outfits to wear. And I believe that this is the most difficult part of the video because it's very difficult to find something to wear on your period. Right, girls? Okay guys, and now to the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna start with you a couple of ideas that I have in my mind. So let's start with outfit number one. Okay guys, here we have outfit number one. It literally took me two minutes to put everything on. It's such a nice quick outfit. Every time I'm on a period, I always go for something baggy because I think it's more flattering, I'm bloated and I don't want to sew this area. Also put this cute bag on to give some color and I have these chunky boots on. And also put some jewelry on to make my outfit look, I don't know, better. And I also have my shades. So yeah, this is outfit number one. It's very cute and comfortable. It doesn't squeeze you. It doesn't make you look like you're on your period. Like nobody will know. And here we have outfit number two. Okay guys, I think that you can never go wrong with trousers and a baggy sir on top. Okay, so I put these trousers on, they're very comfortable and baggy, they don't squeeze you at all. And also I put this baggy white sir on top, you still cover this area. Yeah, also I put this gillet on top and I put this loafers on. I think it's another very easy and cool outfit, you didn't do much but it looks like you put a lot of effort. I love it. Okay guys, and here we have the last outfit, outfit number three. So you can wear this outfit with two ways. So number one, you can wear it like this, you know, you can pick a cute pair of joggers with a sweater, a bag and some sneakers. You can also wear some jewelry again, or you can accessorize it with sunglasses or maybe a hat, whatever. And the second way you can wear this outfit is with an oversized blazer. This outfit this is a lover hate relationship. I personally really like wearing joggers and a sweater and a blazer all three together. You can also change the sneakers and wear, I don't know, maybe add boots. They will look really good. And again, you can accessorize it. You can wear more jewelry. You can wear sunglasses, whatever. I really like both ways. And this is an outfit that I wear very often outside. So guys, write me in the comments below which outfit was your favorite and how much would you rate each one of them. Please subscribe to my channel and definitely share this video with other women so we can help each other. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will hopefully see you in my next video.